Okay, so for this paper for that flies really far, I'm going to use a sheet of A4 paper. But a sheet of printer paper will also be fine as well. So the first step is to fold it in half the long way. The way to make it really precise is you can just make sure that these two points are actually matching. Turn it inside like a pinch mark and just repeat on this side. Make a pinch mark. Then you can also just align the two pinch marks. And it also looks like this. So Now unfold and fold this edge to the middle crease that we just made. And repeat. Yeah. If it doesn't actually match then you can just move it around. Now, fold the stretch to the intersection of this line and the crease. So, move out here. This will be okay. But every crease is really sharp. Okay. And now, turn over. And, okay. So you can kind of see the invisible line here use that invisible line to fold it in half and the thing to note is this should be very straight so want this so this point to go on to this edge and for the middle it can be like this somehow you should actually just turn over and Move as far as you can. So right now it's somehow like this. Now we're just gonna make it as a regular plain shape. So from here you can just so where this one flap is like here, you can fold this edge to this crease. Cut it really sharp and repeat. I'm going to fold it in half this way so that this decoration up now rotate and fold this flap to the middle of this edge we're making the wing but here you actually have a choice if you want to make it like this then you can just fold this piece along with here but if you want to make an even bigger wing because this wing is a little bit too small, I mean, they're quite small. If you want to make a bigger wing, then this is what you can do. Notice that when you fold this in half, there's this triangle. So, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the triangle that this crease and these two edges make. You want that triangle to not come out to the outer layer so you just want it to become like 
this. So this last point will be on this edge. And that's gonna happen with this one. So I'm going to hold it so that kind of ripped off. So it's quite thick. It's an A4 paper I mean. So you can always use a tape to cover this whole thing up. Hopefully this won't matter that much. Okay, so you're gonna fold on that one. And oops. you want to fold it on here. So the wing will be gigantic. So repeat. If it perfectly these would be aligned. This point will be aligned. And of course, so maybe not this. So So notice how this wings are very small on this one. So you don't actually have to do any kind of extra wing stuff here because it's too small to have that stuff all around. So for here, the wings are big enough to for you to have some advantage with. So you can kind of curve it around. Mm, turn it like this. Yes. I used to, and I always used to flip this over, this over back again. It's kind of curve. I'm going to use this curve so that the air makes it go further. Let's go and fly. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm-hmm.